Welcome to the Merced College video tutorial series. Today we're going to talk about how to format and cite your paper using Word and MLA. I'm Joey Merritt. I'm one of the reference librarians here. Today we're going to talk specifically about your paper. In the next video we will talk about the work cited. Let's talk about how to format your paper so that all the work that you spent researching will look good and showcase all that hard work. We're going to start with how to create a header and number pages. And we're always going to do the number first. So we're going to go to Insert, Header, and choose the first blank space. But then you're going to want to go over and choose the page number, top of page, Plane number three. Once you have your number in, you can type in your last name with two spaces. Once you've completed your header, go ahead and close the header and footer and we'll be ready to format the rest of your paper. At this point, we know that your instructors told you to use the MLA format and it actually does not really have a format, but this is typically how we do it. We're going to put the student name, first and last name, then you're going to put your instructor's first and last name. Then you're going to put the class name and number, and then the date. Once you have that done, you click the Enter button. You come up to the top. See that all those little lines, that center one? We're going to put the title of your paper in. Click the Enter and then go back and use that left justify. Those lines that all line up on the left hand side and that's where you're going to start typing the body of your paper. But you might notice that what we've done is used a different font. Your instructor is going to want you to use not Times New Roman 12. So if you use Control A on your screen it will highlight your entire paper. From here we're going to go up to the top, choose Times New Roman and choose the 12 font because that's the right size that you want to do your papers in. But there's no guarantee this is really double spaced. So we're going to choose the paragraph, click paragraph, come down to line spacing, double space, don't add space between paragraphs because if you don't click this you get those weird paragraphs that have extra space in them. Click OK and click someplace else on your paper and now you're ready to type. Thank you for watching the first video in our video series. For more information, please go to the library tab inside your student portal. Thank you for listening.